Hello, this is Kev. Um, and as always, I'm asking you to, if you haven't, go below your screen and hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. Uh, well, anyway, um, this is Jamila Lemieux. Um, she is a senior editor for Ebony Magazine uh, and Ebony Digital, one of them or both of them. Um, she is getting the business on Twitter from Tariq Nasheed, um, um, exposing her father as a possible agent in helping the Black Panther Party get destroyed. Um, actually, he was a Black Panther, and after the party was destroyed, he went on to become a police officer for the Chicago Police Department for 26 years. Now, um, a talking point that I've always had when I find myself in conversation social media wise social media wise or otherwise is that black feminists are agents for white supremacy um black feminism ever since uh Gloria Steinem and that black lady that puts that fist up with her um I just felt like that there somewhere, somewhere along the way was a breakdown in the black family because of it and in 2018, my, my thing is, what, what is a black feminist fighting for? What kind of equality are they fighting for these days? Because in their narratives, black men are losers. Black, black men are losing that they're at the bottom. So when you think of equality in the black community for black women, who are you trying to be equal with since black men are such losers? And Jamela Lemieux pushes this diatribe quite often. Her and her, you know, little feminist buddies, such as Kimberly Foster and Feminista Jones. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and see what's going on with Feminista Jones as of late. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, she, she, uh, Tariq Nasheed is dropping receipts all over Twitter. And this even conjured up an interjection by Mark Lamont Hill and it reads sending love and support to my friend and sister at Jamila Lemieux the baseless attacks on her father by Tariq Nasheed are disgusting also calling or implying that people are ages is triggering and violent both to her and to everyone who has done movement work Okay, movement work. Now, Mark Lamont Hill is referring to the exact same young lady that tweeted this right here. And that reads, New rule. If a man offers you a first date at the crib, you have to set him up for the sisterhood. And then retweets, I wasn't kidding. Yep, sounds like a sociopathic feminist to me. What extremism. Now, to Mr. Marcus Lamont Hill, isn't that triggering and violent? <laughs> or are we going to be one of those brothers that ignore everything a female says like she doesn't mean it or is somehow going to deny us a, a shot at the trim because, ooh, she's so fine. She's so fine. Yeah, we do that shit. Well, well, before I get too far off on a tangent, um... I want to show you how Tariq Nasheed responded to uh, Mark Lamont Hill's tweet. And it's pretty funny, actually. And it reads, Hey, Moist Lamont Hill, are these ridiculous allegations? Here is part of Jamila's dad police record. Dave Lemieux has 83% more complaints of abuse than other officers. His own police record shows that people were accusing me, Lemieux of abusing the hell out of black people in Chicago. Wow. And in the right city, too. Shit, there was a recent federal investigation on the Chicago Police Department. And, it's, it, and it confirmed a lot of allegations of abuse toward uh, uh, and, um, other minorities and people of color. In fact, I said this in another video about the kid who got shot by police officers in Chicago. Uh, I will provide the link below. 
Now, um, if you do have a Twitter account, which um, I strangely don't, uh, you could go follow uh, Tariq Nasheed or Mark Lamont Hill or Jim Miller Lemieux to uh, keep up with the action. Now, this is her pictured with her father. Uh, this is David Lemieux. Um, in the movie clip I am about to show you, and just based on this photo alone, I'm going to have a couple of questions. Um, this movie clip is from the film The Spook Who Sat at the Door, uh, which was also kind of autobiographical, seeing that he was a Black Panther, <laughs> and he did become a cop after the Black Panthers were destroyed which is very suspicious from what you're about to see in this clip but determine it for yourself you know I may not know what I'm talking about now remember the the guy who appears to be the Caucasian man is her father what's that we need money so I have a bank job case the only thing about it is I can't have the job connected with the culprit how are you going to do that? We use <clears throat> Red Bean, Benny Rooster, Paul Monty, JT, Johnny, and Tom. And you lead the team. All the yellow niggas, right? Man, I am tired of that. I am not passing. I am black. Do you hear me, man? Do you understand? I am black. I'm a nigga, you understand me? I was born black, I live black, and I'm gonna die probably because I'm black. Because some cracker that knows I'm black better than you, nigga, is probably gonna put a bullet in the back of my head. Uh, I don't know about that, bro. But seriously, if he was an agent, he was a damn good one. I mean, how do you get to be a Black Panther looking like that, convincing everybody that you were, oh, he was just high yellow. He was real, real high yellow. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. This is just a reflection of how we're so accepting of something that looks way lighter than us. And yes, uh, the receipts are out there. Uh, Miss Card Carrying uh, Hardcore Feminist right here is 53% white. And, you know, to my talking point earlier that um, black feminists are nothing but agents of white supremacy, hell, well, now we know where at least she gets it from. <laughs> hell, look at the kind of articles that were published on Ebony under her guidance as senior editor. Look at that, my first time with a white guy. All right, you swear, don't get too turned on. Oh, look at this one. New Squirrel Book teaches how to date interracially. Yeah, let, let's see all the pro-blackness come out right now to y'all, like y'all did feel on that Vine show. Oh, my white sugar daddy. You know goddamn well a black guy couldn't do this without getting scorn, scorned and castigated for it. Like, what, what, if, what if some black guy put an article in Ebony Magazine, an African-American publication, talking about my white sugar mama? You know the answer to that already. Yeah, just just like I said, I, I don't trust black feminists. Their fight isn't about equality. It's about downing a black man. And this one is very good at it. And now because of Tariq Nasheed on Twitter, uh, you have a little bit more insight as to why she's like this. So, let's recap. Her father is white, probably an agent, probably con contributed to the destruction of the Black Panthers. She's a black feminist who are, which I believe agents of white supremacy. Okay, fight me in the comment section if you like about this one. But as I always, I said at the beginning of this video, and I'm gonna say it again, please go below this screen, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and like and comment. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> and also let me read, let me leave you with this final tweet that she did years ago.